Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsUse.com and today we are here at the BlackBerry event and BlackBerry has launched the BlackBerry Passport which is a pretty big device to hold in one hand as you can see. Again, one-handed usage of this device is fairly limited. Uh, it will be very difficult to actually use this device with one hand but again you can do the typing on this device. So this device has been launched for the price of 49,990 which is the MRP of this device and hopefully this price should also come down. Again, this device is targeted for the business consumers out there, not for the normal consumers. Uh, especially in case you're looking for a BlackBerry phone, this is something which is going to be a pretty big phone in terms of the display. So it has a 4.5 inch display, but the problem is that it is a one is to one display. So for many people out there, they may not be able to use this device with one hand, but again, two handed usage of the device is fairly good and much better than any other smartphone out there. So in case you are using this device, this device is again targeted for the business people, especially for the professionals. So in case you are a doctor or you are a professional in some company, you can always afford this device. Again, this device is fairly costly for a consumer, but in case you have a business usage, then this device does make a lot of sense. You have this keyboard which, uh, on which you can usually type uh, with the tactile feedback. You do have these keys, which gives you great feedback, and also you get the suggestions at the top. So you get the suggestions at the top so that you can type on this device easily without any issues. So in terms of the overall form factor, this device is fairly different. It is around 194 gram in terms of the weight, but it does not feel very heavy to hold in one hand. In terms of the overall one-handed uh, feel, you can see that the device has a pretty good build quality as well. It has a very nice build quality. Yes, it does not bend. So even if you apply, if I if I apply like this much of pressure, the device does not bend. The display does not come out. It is quite strong, and I can actually see that. You can see that I am actually applying a lot of pressure on this one. So this one does not bend. It has a very good build quality. Apart from this, if you talk about the display, the display is 4.5 inch display and the resolution of the display is fairly different. It is 1440 into 1440, 4.5 inch, 1 is to 1 display. It is an IPS panel, so it does give you great, pretty good viewing angles as well. So I can show you that. Let me just come back. So you can see that the device has a pretty good viewing angle as well. So device has a different form factor, a different feel. It is actually designed to use with one hand but you can always use it with one hand uh, designed to use it use it with two hands but again you can always use it with one hand as well you do have this gesture typing you can actually type on any specific application and you can do a swipe and that character will be typed it does give you these suggestions as well you have a uh, kind of a silver kind of a plastic over there which has been used at the back side we have we can see that we have a 13 megapixel camera at the back which can record high definition video but as of now in the os uh, which is blackberry 10.3 on this device it is giving you around 60 frames per second for 1080p video so you can record high definition videos at 1080p but at 60 frames per second at 30 fps you might be able to do it later because they are planning to push an update for that one so that you can record high definition video at 30 fps so we have a flash over there as well. We have BlackBerry logo and again this device has a matte finish back cover which again cannot be removed. It is a unibody device. The battery on the device is also pretty high. Unlike some other smartphone, this device uh, as a flagship phone actually has a pretty big battery and it has a battery of approximately 3450 milliampere hour, which makes this device fairly good in terms of the overall battery backup as well. As per the information which we have got from BlackBerry, we will confirm that once we do the full review. Taking a look over the front side, we can see that we have the nice metallic earpiece. We have proximity and embedded light sensor over there. We do have a compass sensor as well on this device. And we have the front camera over there, which is a two megapixel camera, can also record high definition video. Whereas the rear can also record high definition video. On this side, we have the volume rockers and then we have the play and pause button which you can use to pay, play and pause the music we have two loudspeaker on this device so we have two dual loudspeaker on this device one is over there one is over there and the kind of, kind of sound you actually get from this device is fairly loud you have micro keyboard for data syncing and charging and you have a primary microphone over there however i'm not able to locate a secondary microphone but it looks like the secondary microphone is there inside this particular part so it does have a secondary microphone and this device has uh, approximately four microphones as per the information which we have got this is the kind of ui which we have on this device the ui is fluid and it is responsive to use you can use this device without any issues you can see that everything is responsive it does not give you any kind of lag and one thing which i like this time is that blackberry has actually changed the look and feel of the ui to make it much more closer to other smartphones which we have as of now so you can actually uh, relate this ui the kind of icons it has to an android phone so it, this is the kind of iconography you will get you have this text which you can easily read again the pixel density on this device is fairly high it ha it has a 
14 40 into 14 40 display resolution which gives this device a fairly high pixel density of around 453 pixels per inch and you will not notice any pixelation on this device you can edit documents on the go this device gives you a big screen for your disposal so on this big screen you can actually see different kind of excel sheet you can go across different kind of sheets over there and you can edit figures you can actually do a lot of editing of your business documents as far as thickness goes this device is around 9.3 millimeter in terms of the thickness which makes it fairly slim as well it also have a corning gorilla glass 3 protection and in order to come back you just need to swipe it like this so it has corning gorilla glass 3 protection and it will not get the scratches and fingerprints over time very fingerprints will be visible but scratches will not be visible very easily on this device this is how the QWERTY keyboard look like. The QWERTY keyboard does not have the kind of uh, numbers in case you are looking for that but whenever you are typing on this particular device in case you are typing over here and I am adding an event so in case you are typing over here as per the field in which you are typing it will give you all these options over there so the extra layer of keyboard will come up appear on the top of the screen and here you can actually open this to have numbers access as well so you can e easily type and in case you are typing any number in case you are typing anything especially as far as location is concerned or in notes if you are doing some typing it will give you these suggestions so that you can actually do a swipe over here so the keyboard is actually divided into three parts one is this one is this and one is this and whenever you do a swipe like this the current suggestion will automatically get typed for example if i just want to type over here uh, this is uh, let me just do this so if I am typing like this and if I want this thing to be there as written so I can do it like this so this is how this will actually be there and you do have all these suggestions also coming up on the top so that you can easily see them you can always tap on them to actually type them and you can uh, swipe over here to do that so all these things are there on this device which are supported you also have the option of deleting stuff so in case you want to delete stuff you can always do uh, swipe like this from the left to the right and you can delete one word at a time and this is how you can easily delete you don't need to do a swipe over here but you can do it over there on the top or at the bottom and this is how this thing will work let's take a look over the ui of the phone and before we do that i can show you okay uh, connectivity ports i have already shown you so let me just take a look over the ui so these are the application which you will get pre-installed on this device which includes the blackberry hub application contacts application we do have this clock application over there as well so this is how the clock application will look like an analog clock is there and let me just show you the camera so you do have a shortcut for the camera directly you have a shortcut for the phone dialer let me just show you the phone dialer first of all so this is how the phone dialer look like you can easily dial a number by just typing over here you just you you don't need to move uh, your finger basically uh, apart from this area you can do the complete typing and it does not take a big part of your screen so which is definitely a good thing so you can easily type on this device like this and you can come out let me just launch the camera and can show you the camera performance and i will take a photo of my lg g2 over there so let me just take a photo as of now of my lg g2 and i can show you the performance of this device as far as camera is concerned again it is advised that you take the photos in the vertical mode so here we have the device let me just see uh, so it does have autofocus as well which works and this is how you can take a photo once you have taken the photo i can show you the clarity of the same so this is how the photo will come out i can say that the photo clarity is fairly good and again the kind of color production it has done it is also pretty good so you can compare it with the original object over there i can see that the clarity which it has given on the photo is pretty good as well as the details are also looking nice as far as the uh, camera options are concerned i can show you the camera options so we have some other photos as well which we have taken from this device as you can see this is another photo of this particular flower over there uh, which is this one and this photo has also came out to be pretty good in terms of the color production as well as the kind of details you can expect so camera quality is definitely very good let me just show you the view from the front camera as well so let me just toggle to the front camera and now i can show you the view so this is how the view will look like from the front camera the front camera is also capable of doing a high definition video chat and the kind of quality you can get from the front camera is also very good so both the front camera as well as the rear camera are good enough you do have the option of taking a photos in hdr mode you have different kind of aspect ratio in which you can take the photos so right now it is going to be one is to one but you can have it to four is to three or 16 is to nine as well and we do have the timer as well which you can specify you have a time shift mode as well supported for the faces and apart from that if you go to the rear camera i can show you some more options related to the near rear camera you have a panorama mode supported as well and you do have a bus shot as well so bus shot and panorama mode is supported on this device and this is how it actually works so in all i can say that this device looks good 
it performs pretty good especially for the business scenarios it could be a very good phone one handed usage may be limited for some people out there but using this device with one hand is not a very big task you can use it with one hand you can type it with one hand as well so in case i am on twitter and if i want to type a new status i can actually do it with one hand as well i can do the typing as of now so that i can show you the scenario so in case i am doing the typing with one hand it may be difficult but you can do it and this is how you can actually take up the suggestions and bring up the keyboard on the display so in all i can say that this is a pretty decent device do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you and you can always like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you